Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name is Dave D. I'm here with Brandon B. And this is iRev TV. And today, we're going to be talking about skis and spindles. So bring it in. We're going to keep it fast. We're going to keep it light. We're going to keep it fun. So starting over here, Brandon, we've got ourselves a Yeti setup. This is a Yeti spindle. It's carbon fiber with some titanium bolts and aluminum. Uh, super lightweight. It's a great spindle. You can take this on the trail. You can take it into the back country. Uh, you can race it. And these spindles are bomber. Um, I've seen a lot of guys wreck. I've seen a lot of guys touch things under the snow. And these actually hold up pretty well um, in the back country and on the track. Um, so attached to this is your Yeti ski. Uh, this ski is fantastic. I've used this ski a ton. I've used it on the trail. I've used it in the back country. Again, you can race with it. You can ride with it. Um, you can really take it to the max with this particular setup. Um, one of the things that I love about this setup is that you get a wheel kit that comes along with it, which is really great for moving the bike around. Um, it's just two small little pit bike tires and a nice main axle. Um, and it's, it works great when you're trying to get the bike out of the back of the truck. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks great. My favorite color is actually carbon fiber. So yes. that's my favorite <laughs> spindle. Even though I'm a Timberside guy, that's my favorite one. Absolutely. I've got a thing for carbon fiber as well. That's why we got P3 carbon in the background. Most of these bikes are decked out in carbon fiber. Um, I love the way it looks. I mean, killer. This right here is, should belong on somebody's wall. Yeah. But we have to ride on it, you yeah. know? Somebody's got to do it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it looks fantastic. Um, so for all the new guys that are out there, if you're interested in getting a Yeti kit, um, this actually bolts right onto the bottom of your forks. It's got two clamps right here, and then you hook it straight up to your ski, and it's a really easy process to do. If I can do it, anybody yeah, else can do it. If I can do it, anybody else can do it. Um, so this is the Yeti Ski and Yeti Spindle Combo on a CRF 450R. Um, if you guys have any questions about this ski and spindle combination, make sure to drop a, a comment and uh, we'll try to get back to you if sure. you have any questions. Um, we do know that this ski here is parabolic, so it does kind of squeeze in the middle. Um, it's got two running blades on the side and then it's got that center skag um, for, you know, ice and, you know, riding and so you don't actually have any issues with um, you know blowing out the plastic composite. You can actually ride on a metal rail under there. Um, so that right there is your Yeti setup. Beautiful setup. Uh, they haven't really changed any of the design. Um, I do know a few years ago they fattened this up to make it a little bit more bomber. Uh, but other than that, this is the same spindle and ski comb combination they've had ever since they've really come out. Beautiful spindle. This is the swimsuit of the spindle. The swimsuit model. <laughs> the swimsuit model, exactly. <laughs> this is the uh, power lifter. That's the swimsuit model. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> what do we got next, Dave? We got the CMX here. Yep. So this over one looks here. awfully shiny. Oh, yeah. So bring it in, guys. Come on over here. Um, so as you can see, this one is open, super lightweight, carbon fiber, titanium. And then over here, we've got your, your CMX spindle and your CMX ski. Um, both of these are fantastic. Um, I was running the Yeti spindle and the Yeti ski um, all of the beginning portion of uh, last season, excuse me, and um, had no issues. I, I love the ski and the spindle. It worked flawlessly. Um, however, um, we met some good friends that ride CMX and I really liked the design and I really wanted to try out their ski. So I gave them a shot called them up, got myself the spindle and the ski, and I've kept the ski on just because it, it rides really cool. The comparison between the two, it's very similar. It really is. Um, in the powder, they both have great float. On the trail, they feel just about the same. You can really rail these um, and get them way over on their side and they'll hook and hold. Um, the other thing that's great about this ski is that it's straight railed, so you don't have the parabolic. So in the uh, springtime, when the, the top of the snow starts to get a little slushy and wet, you don't get those snowballs getting built up underneath the ski and having issues uh, when you're in the trees or on the trail. So I like that part with this ski. Um, I love that you can get it in like every single color now. Yeah. You can get it in red, you can get it in blue, white, yellow. Um, it's, it's awesome, I love it. Um, again, it has a center skeg and that's got the two on the outside edge and um, comes with a wheel kit. 
Um, the difference between these two is that the axle is a little bit wider, I think by about an inch. So you have to get a new axle for your wheel kit, but you can use the same tires and it works pretty much the same thing. You pull it out, you slide it in, you're back in business. Um, this actual um, spindle is billet aluminum. It's made out of one billet piece um, and it is bomber. If, if I was to hit a rock or something under the snow, I'm pretty sure this is gonna stay and these are just gonna sever here. Um, which, is, which is probably what would happen if I hit a rock with this, um, but that's, that's fine, it, it comes with the territory. If you hit a rock or a tree or something under the snow, you're gonna have some problems. You're gonna have spindles breaking, you're gonna have ski issues, you're gonna have fork issues. It just kind of comes with the territory. Comes with the territory. Especially when? Early season. Oh yeah, now. Early season, now. man. Early season is when everybody has to buy another spindle because they go out too soon, they get all jacked up to ride, and they're out there That's hauling this ass. Weekend. I'm <laughs> going to get a spindle. Sweet, call me if you need a spindle. <laughs> I got one for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, just um, be weary in the early season. You know, you never know what you might hit, especially in- Been there. Yeah, Been me there. too. Me I've, too. I've replaced one of these timber sled spindles last winter. Okay, tell early, me the story. What happened? Early season. Yep. Cruising with my buddy from Maine. He came out to Colorado to do some riding. Maine. Shout out to Kevin Sear. Kevin, uh, what's up, bud? Yeah. So yeah, hauling, hauling butt and uh, <laughs> third, fourth, fifth gear, and just found a rock under the snow. It was actually like this big. Moved the whole rock like 10 feet. Got it all on GoPro. Killer video. Okay, cool. Flew we'll, over we'll, the handlebars. We'll post that later. Yeah, and. Uh, but yeah, moved the whole, ended up riding the rest of the day. It was probably from the midpoint down. It was a little tweaked, kind of strained her out and just got the feel of how it was handling. Um, still rode it, but then uh, got, a, got ordered a new spindle. Mm -hmm. um, timber sled spindle actually is quarter inch steel. It's pretty generic compared to these other uh, top of the top shelf spindles, but it does a trick. This will go before your forks go 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. So. For those that are worried about severing forks, cracking, um, creasing their forks where these clamps actually clamp down, that probably ain't gonna happen with this spindle. Your basic timber sled comes in black. When you get a color, when you get a limited edition color, you'll get in the color of the kit that you got. So we got gunmetal here. Looks sick. Um, specific wheel kit for the timber sled spindle and uh, ski. Um, mine has two more wheels, which makes it better than theirs. So. There's that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we got a parabolic <laughs> ski, just like the Yeti ski. Uh, so it kind of pinches in the middle a little bit. This year, I got a different center skag. Um, is it the gold point one? No, I had that one last year. Did did great. This one is okay. just a typical uh, like steel V-shaped one. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try that out. I might even try to get uh, your Yeti spindle this year and ski and try that out, see what the difference is. Absolutely, I'll definitely give you my Yeti ski and try it out, it's it's sweet. Compared to a timber sled ski, they really kind of ride the same, especially now that they have that newer ski, it's a lot wider, it tracks just like the, uh, the kit does. Um, last year I got to try this ski out and I liked it. I liked it a lot, it hammered, cornered really well, it was good on and off the trail. Um, all around a fantastic ski. All of these actually work fantastic. All of them work fantastic. I love every single one of these setups. And I've got nothing bad to say about any of them. It's basically up to what you want to ride. You know, if you want carbon fiber and titanium, then you go ahead and you get yourself a Yeti Snow MX. If you want aluminum, excuse me, then you get yourself a CMX. And those kits are badass, tip to tail. Um, but I'm running just the ski and spindle and I got a Yeti kit on the back. I like that setup for me. Um, and then over here we got the timber sled. Yep. <laughs> Unbeatable. I mean, go anywhere. Kit is phenomenal. And actually, to tell you the truth, when I first started snow biking, it was on a timber sled. And well, timber most sled people. planted or the, older, the seed for uh, me. Snow techs. I mean, literally, I got addicted on that bike and that combination. So. Big shout out to all the guys out there in the snow biking industry. Is there anything else you want to add? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Maybe one tip. Okay. Dave, you know how to make all these skis faster? Skis faster? Faster. I don't know, let me ride them? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, you get yourself a can of Pledge. 
Furniture, furniture polish. Well, I pledge allegiance. Spread, spray that on the bottom of the ski. Easily gain three to five horsepower. Easily. <laughs> I love it. So I'm Dave D. And this is Brandon B. From iRev TV. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe. And we will talk to you guys later.